Hey guys, what's up? It's JR Cuber, and in this video, I have another unboxing from thecubicle.com. I honestly really don't know what's in here, but I'm very excited to open it up and see what it is. Oh man, all right. Looks like we've got a few puzzles in here. Okay, so it looks like we've got some YJMGC puzzles in here. Looks like we've got a 5x5 and 6x6. So it looks like YJ is expanding their MGC line to bigger cubes. I don't know if they have a 4x4, not that I'm aware of. So let's go ahead and start with the 5x5. So this is a very, very interesting box. I really like the design of it. It's got this little plastic insert. There we go. So then the box opens this way. All right, and we get the puzzle and stickerless and a little accessory kit. So in here we get, it looks like a very, very interesting screwdriver. So that's pretty cool. As well as some spare magnets and some spare hardware. It looks like a spring change and some washers. All right, so let's go ahead and check the puzzle out. So right off the bat, this has a very bubbly exterior feeling. Um, not quite as kind of rounded as, let's say, the Outron GTS, but also not quite as flat as like the Volk 5 or something. There is a little bit of uh, roundedness to the pieces, more so on the inside than on the very edges. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do some turns. Wow, okay, not too bad right out of the box. Definitely a little bit catchy, maybe. I don't know, it might just be breaking in. It feels really, really fast. It's also very quiet. And it has a very nice feel. It's It, it feels um, pretty, actually really, really stable. Definitely magnets in there. Uh, the outer layer magnets are decently strong. Doesn't feel like the inners are really any weaker though. But still feels very fast, just very controllable. Definitely feels like the magnets are, are helping with that, but yeah. Like I said, maybe a little bit catchy, but overall not terrible for out of the box performance for a 5x5. It's got a very, very silky smooth feel out of the box. It kind of just reminds me of like an unset up Outrong GTS. Like I feel like this could feel very similar to an Outrong with the right lube combination. It does have a slight kind of sandy feeling out of the box. Um, and the main thing I'm noticing right now is that it just feels a tad catchy and I, I feel like I could pretty easily get uh, kind of one of those like 5 5 style walk-ups. Boom, just like that. There you go. Uh, right as I'm talking about it. So definitely seems like it could be a problem. I don't know how common that's going to be during solves. But yeah, I think uh, this could definitely be a very, very competitive mid-tier 5 by 5 So not the greatest out there, but far, far from the worst you can get. So this is a $22 puzzle on the cubicle.com. Definitely a uh, pretty mid-tier type price. I think for any kind of beginner to intermediate cuber, this is going to be a great, great 5 by 5 I don't know how competitive it's gonna be in terms of high-level speed cubers. It doesn't really seem to be because I haven't really heard too many people talking about this cube. Um, but this definitely kind of feels like a budget Outwang GTS to a degree. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting from it. So yeah, out of the box, the MGC 5 5 definitely seems like a pretty solid puzzle. So let's go ahead and check out the 6x6. Six six. All right, so same kind of packaging with the 6x6 six six here. And this is still not all that easy to get off, no matter which direction you go. So exact same kind of deal here, just the cube and some accessories. I imagine we'll get pretty much the same kinds of things in here. So yep, some spare magnets, a screwdriver right here, and some spare springs. These are a lot smaller, look like they might be tighter tension springs, I don't know. All right, so this one also has a very, very similar exterior appearance to the 505, so they go very, very well together, definitely. So let's see how this one turns. Wow, okay, not bad, not bad. That is pretty awesome for a 6x6, honestly. 6x6 hardware has never really blown me away that much. This feels pretty awesome though, especially for uh, out of the box. Yeah, it's really, really fast, especially these very, very inner layers. Normally on a 6x6, these are the slowest, but these actually, it's kind of the opposite. These feel like the fastest. Maybe, I think the second layers are probably the fastest, but coming very closely in with the, the third layers. And I, I think the slowest are probably the outers, which is not bad. Um, it's nice to have that kind of control. It's really not that different. They're almost the same level of speed. It just feels slightly faster, but yeah. Definitely uh, pretty nice. It has a very similar feeling to the 5x5. 
Um, kind of crispy and crunchy, but also quite smooth. It just kind of feels like the Outrong GTS in 6x6 form. Um, that's the best way I can describe it, really. I also quite like that the outer layers are uh, decently wider. It makes it seem like 3x3 stage is going to be a, a bit easier. Um, the other thing, too, is I'm kind of getting that same feeling with the 505 that I feel like the cube could potentially lock up. I have like a pretty bad lock up at kind of any moment. Uh, I think some of that could be due to the tensions. It feels like it might be a bit loose right now uh, and not really set up properly. Um, so that could definitely change, but just doing turns like this, you can kind of see him getting a little bit of catching here. It seems like it's fairly easy to undo, but I don't know. I feel like there could be much more severe cases where uh, you have to take some pieces out. But uh, it's hard to say right now, just off of first impressions, I have to do some solves and get more of a feeling for both of these puzzles. But yeah, overall, I'm quite impressed with the out-of-the-box performance of both of these puzzles. But I'm going to go ahead and break in both of these puzzles quite a bit, you know, really set them up properly and just uh, get, get more of a better feel of what these cubes are like. And then I will be back to give you guys some more of my final thoughts on the MGC 5x5 and 6x6. Okay, so we're back with the MGC 5x5 and 6x6, and right off the bat, both of these cubes are really awesome for the price. Let's start with the 5x5, which goes for $22. So this is a really fast 5x5. It feels about as fast as the Valk 5, and it's really stable, so it's really easy for me to do longer sessions with this puzzle. It just feels really light and fluid, and the turns are just really effortless. After some setup and break in time, I notice the catching mostly disappearing. I will still get an odd lockup every now and then, but for the most part, this cube stays together really Really well. Corner cutting is actually really solid. It seems to handle most cuts with no problem. The turning itself feels really buttery, not quite as silky smooth as my Mystic Outrong, but also not quite as crunchy as the Valk 5. I think this puzzle strikes a really nice balance between the two, and it's cheaper than both of them. This has surprisingly turned out to be one of my favorite 5x5s, so it's a really easy recommendation with a low price to people getting into 5x5, and I think for intermediate solvers like me who average around 130, I think this will serve you pretty much just as well as the Outrong or the bulk. All right, let's move on to the 6x6. And the 6x6 has a lot of the same characteristics of the 5x5. It's got a light, buttery smooth feel, and it's really fast, so it's great for longer sessions. While it does feel quite stable, I'd say it's definitely more prone to big lockups and pops, although they really haven't happened all that often, it is really stable for a 6x6. I think there is some improvement to be made there, it's not perfect, but it is one of the more stable 6x6s I've ever used. As I thought I would, I do really like the wider outer layer, it just makes me that much more confident turning quickly during 3x3 stage. Another thing I really like is that the puzzle feels really balanced. All of the layers feel equal in feeling and speed. Overall, there's just really not too many negatives with the 6x6, and I like it even more than the Shadow M, so I'll definitely be maining this one. And the best part is that it's only $3 more than the 5x5, coming in at $25. So both are very affordable and awesome puzzles from YJ. If you guys are interested, I'll of course leave the links in the description to where you can pick them up. Thanks of course to the Cubicle for sending me both of these cubes for free to review and for sponsoring the video. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit that like button, turn on notifications, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching guys, bye.